touch up before I explain what I'm doing today. The cool kids are here. Only cool kids. They are here. Welcome, subscribers. Subscribers, welcome. Cool kids, welcome to my channel. I'm Nongkuro Mashi. And yes, today is an exciting video because why you saw the title? My journey becoming a UX designer. That's correct. Yes, that is it. As I said before, I do a whole lot of things creative. So I am a director, producer, actor. But I am also a UX designer. And so early on this year, I decided to take on a course. 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 Not course. Course. <laughs> course on UX design. What is UX design? UX design is a designer that focuses on the user experience of product such as a website or a app. Yeah? That's in short really what it is about. So, like I said, we're working this video is about my journey as a UX designer. I've already explained what a UX designer is. Next topic. Now, the course that I took was actually a course that was part of the Google Certificate Google Professional Certificate program that they have um, released, I think sometime last year or the year before. And so this uh, program was specific to UX designers. Um, I think it got released last year, yeah, no, 2020, it got released in 2020. Or was it last year? I don't remember. So essentially I took that course earlier on January, around mid-January. Yes, that is correct. And inside this course, what was lovely about this course is that not only did it give you skills to become a UX designer, but it actually gave you tangible projects to work on. Those are the things that you actually need to start your UX design portfolio. Yes, because a lot of your creators actually look to see what you can actually do or the skills that you offer, and they see that through the, your portfolio. So what the, what are we talking about? Course, yes, that's correct. What the course actually offered was seven courses. So it's one big course and inside this one big course, there's like seven courses. It's basically like Sunday course, you know? Seven colors, one color, it be through the, 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 the rice, the, 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 I don't know, it's the peas, I don't know what, but it's like a seven color course meal, you know, if you live in South Africa, you know what seven colors means. It's on a Sunday afternoon and you're about to chow this course for seven, 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 what do you call this? Seven foods. I took the course because if you check online, there's a lot of resources regarding UX. Like, it's just too much. It's a lot. It's a lot. And it's not to say that all of those resources are not reliable or verified. It's just, it becomes really overwhelming. And this course really does allow as a UX designer beginner to really have that foundation of where it, where it comes from, UX design, where it comes from, where it started, right up until actually how to actually create a project from start to finish. And if you become like a freelancer, for example, if you become a freelancer, you're able to take a, a or you're working for a startup company, you're able to take on a project from beginning to end confidently because this product, this course actually gives you the funda, the foundation, the foundation of actually uh, finishing a project um, and what it means to be a user, a UX designer, which is, which means user experience designer, essentially. Um, so yeah, that's why I took it. I took it because uh, it was a course that sort of had all these resources that you can find on the internet and sort of made it compact in the one simple, nuanced, cohesive way of understanding it. What I liked about it, it started from course one right up until course seven. Um, and it started from the beginning or the understanding what you, the importance of UX design right up until the end, which is actually now creating the final project, which was the third project, which was creating a project that was for a common world, common good. I think that's what it is. But essentially something that was helping the community, essentially. So yeah, that's why I took it. Something that was very concrete. Help people who are at the beginner. If you're at a beginner 
uh, level it'll actually definitely help in creating the foundation of what a ux designer needs um so yeah i'm actually going to read out what actually what you can actually get from this course so you can get taught by top companies and universities affordable programs like i said it's affordable guys listen let me tell you when it comes to being frugal <laughs> i'm there the cookies are here anyways <laughs> number three you can apply your skills with hands-on projects like i said you end up with three projects yes you end up with three projects from start to finish from user user testing to usability studies to getting developing your personas mock-ups um to the final high five uh, prototype you literally get to build something from start to finish which is building or designing a website or designing an app from start to finish that is what you need a tangible project that will you that you will have in your portfolio and that is what you need to be able to be recruited by recruiters on linkedin or indeed in other places for a job or a freelancing gig yeah Next, learn on your own schedule. I like this. Listen, time is so valuable because you can get back. So time, time, time. You can literally work at your own pace on your own schedule. Like I also have heard that reasons why people don't wouldn't go for this course or reasons why they would go for boot camp, not this course, but the reason why they would go for boot camp is because there's a, a specific pressure that is added, which is because it's so tangible and somewhat you're going to be seeing another person not just the video um the pressure is that you there's this almost like a set schedule somewhat placed up upon you yeah with this with this course uh, there's no there's no one really pressuring you to do anything quite literally there's no one pressuring you to do anything so yeah the onus is on you there you'd have to be diligent and you would have to somewhat create a schedule for yourself and ensuring that you actually finish the course. Now, a lot of reviews I've seen out there, the Google course uh, for the UX design. It's reviews I've seen that um, people actually don't complete the course. They do not complete the course. Now, I'm gonna comment on that a bit later on, but um, just ensure that if you're gonna go through this route, um, you have a schedule of some kind, ensuring that you do finish this course, yeah? Another thing that I like about the fact that you actually still cut up some money into this course. The reason why I actually like that is because when you cut up money, listen, it's your money. You're going to make sure you finish. Yeah. So I do believe if something is not, um, if you don't put your money, where, what, if you don't put your money, um, yeah, this is something I feel about free stuff. Yeah. Um, I do think the things that do cost us more are more valuable than things that are free. Um, and because it costs you, you're going to check the weight, of, uh, the weight at which it costs and you're going to do your best to ensure that you get your money's worth. Yeah, you're going to get your money back in the form of skills and in the form of a, at least being recruited in a project or a freelancing gig, a freelancing gig or a job. Yeah next course videos and readings you will get course like i said you get course readings and you get videos i love that combination not just videos there's a lot of videos out there especially on youtube especially on youtube on youtube um and there's a lot of articles out there yo hi it's a lot it's a new load um but like i said uh this course allows you to have verified videos as well as verified credible resources or articles for you to draw on to help you start your foundation. Like I said, this course is specifically for beginners. Yeah, so a lot of, you'll see a lot of um, people who are not beginners, what do you call them, experts. Um, they would actually say that, I've seen a lot of experts online, they would actually say that's actually a good course to go for beginner level. So if you're a beginner and you're not so tech savvy or you're maybe intimidated by that department, specifically also in design, this is a cost for you. Mm. I know Google must pay. Just joking, joking. But anyways, next. Graded quizzes and assignments. Graded quizzes and assignments. Wow. Uh, yeah, those things, yeah. 
so the quiz the, obviously you get it's like a school you get assignments and every at, at the end of every week there was um, an assignment that you had to complete for that end of the week so let's say today is Monday and Friday you had an assignment so if you consider Friday to be the end of the week um, but yeah working week Friday by the end of Friday you need to ensure that you have submitted your assignment and then obviously after that submitting your assignment guess what you're going to be graded on it now the people who grade your assignments are actually your peers yeah it's your peers I would say to some degree some degree that is the only thing that I don't like about the course because we're all beginners <laughs> we are the beginners writing the beginners I don't know hey I, I don't know oh, I would rather have a media media what is it media medium to expert um, person grading my call my assignments just because then I can I number one I would trust that feedback high key because the, the person is an expert or at least they've been in the field for very long whereas when you are graded by beginners a person might rate um, your work based on something really UX, just not use it, UX design related even. We don't know. We don't know what they are really rating it on or grading it on. Um, but I do, do enjoy the fact that we can give feedback to each other, which is really great in just trying to build your, um, I guess, your UX design community, as well as learning how to give feedback that's a huge part about the media designer is actually being able to give feedback and receiving feedback i just wish that it was received and given by a person or yeah received by a person um who is well within the industry that's the only thing yes next one no degree or experience required for this UX design certificate that is true that is very true if you google UX design there are a lot of UX designers on YouTube who have said on their YouTube channel UX designer no experience wow in six months got a job and yeah lovely wow well done well done to you it's true it's true um, you do not have to have experience in um, you, you don't have to have experience in it um, there's a lot of people and a lot of the instructors on Google um, would actually comment and say hey I was also not part of this field and then somehow you know through life they found themselves in this field but it was not necessarily that they went straight for UX design but some of them were into psychology and then they find themselves in UX design some they were involved in the developing end and now they found themselves in UX design. Some found themselves in marketing and then they found themselves now in UX design. But essentially what I've understood about it is that whatever it is that you are from or whatever it is that you were doing or you are currently doing, that will be useful to your journey in UX design. It will. So like I said, if you are a, a psychologist, Guess what? That is very, very, very useful for myself. I actually did study, I think just for two years ago, um, psychology. So the skills or the knowledge that I got from those two years in varsity does help in you, and you can actually see it, does help in actually in your UX design journey. Why? Because in the UX design, if you do do this course or you are interested, you will discover that the huge thing about UX design is that you need to make sure that the user is center, making sure that the user is front and center, that you are considerate of what the user will experience in whatever your design would be. Um, and a huge part of psychology, you have to think about what would the journey be like in making sure that you're empathetic towards the user. Um, you'd have to think about how is the journey, what would the journey be like? How would the user feel? Um, what would the emotions, what would they be experiencing as they're moving through your product or your design? Those are the things that you'd have to think about. And there are some, I have seen it for myself, there are some correlations in 
from what a UX designer would need and what a psychologist, the skill that a psychologist would have acquired in being a psychologist and how would that skill be um, advantageous to being a UX designer. Right, next. Shareable certificate. Okay. So, shareable certificate upon completion. Yeah, yeah, you, you are able to share your certificate. Yeah, but I wouldn't say, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't lean heavily on that. Um, yeah, I wouldn't lean heavily on that. The fact that you got a certificate, so many people in South Africa have certificates. Well, well done. But I would say you would really want to ensure that your portfolio is... Is, 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 is up there really do ensure that your portfolio is i would say simple and clear and actually that's another video to be honest but the portfolio is what you need to lean on more um because there's a lot of ux designers who have gone into ux design without a certificate but because they had a good portfolio and they had a good uh, yeah have, have a good portfolio and a good way of showcasing their work and their way in which they think through um, a project or a design problem, that is what got them the job, is ensuring that they um, put themselves forward as a UX designer pretty well, other than just a certificate. But don't take too much weight on that because there's people out there who, have, who are in the UX design and they don't even have a certificate, but they do have a portfolio. So yeah, it's a good bonus. Yay, to have a certificate. Just yeah, don't put too much weight on it. Yay. Yeah. But anyways, that is it, folks. Honestly, the cool kids. Yes, you have the cool kids. If you are interested in being a UX designer, go for it. Um, I'm a South African speaking from South African perspective or point of view. Um, it is a demand. So if you are living in South Africa and you currently don't have much to do or you are still in the phase of leaving varsity and like trying to look for a job and you're really struggling in some ways um i think it's a good idea to acquire skills um and acquire skills that are in demand i think that's a good idea that's that would be cool um product design ux design ui design um it is something that's in demand in the world um, a lot of companies are looking to try and build webs websites or apps um, for their company and that's no it's not going anywhere there's just more companies coming up and they just need apps and websites so if you are keen on a career that um, really does require detail but a career that is just so can be very different from what you do but a career that requires you to be collaborative with other people and just design um, and be creative but also to bring in the user in front and center then maybe ux design is for you um so yeah i hope you enjoy this video comment down below if you want to know more about ux design or my journey my journey the process or the progress behind my journey currently right now i'll give you an update i am working on the last project and I just thought, oh, let me just give a review as I go along, as I am finishing it. I am literally at the last course, just finishing my last project. And then, yeah, finishing the last project. And then I just need to touch up my portfolio. That's what I need to do. But yeah, if you want to know more about my journey as a UX designer, how it's going, um, freelancing, company, hyping hype, in the permanent job, let me know. I am keen to answer but yes like like i don't even have to subscribe like like this video just like it it's okay you don't have to subscribe huh the cool kids here like like videos yeah be a cool kid and like the video cool kid do that for me now anyways enjoy and i'll see you in your next video bye